much. Uh, Mr. White, you talk about your private sector partners that you work with. So Pornhub MindGeek is one of your partners? Uh, to my knowledge, we are not a partner with them. When I refer to partners, I'm referring okay, to... Okay, so who are your private sector partners if the biggest porn company in Canada isn't one of them? Who's your private sector partners that you work with? Yeah, we are working with some of the uh, bigger companies, uh, Google, Facebook, when I mentioned the global uh, task force earlier. But uh, you're not working with they're... Pornhub Mind Geek. Not to my knowledge, but okay. I will ask Did, them. Arsenal. Sorry, so just have you watched any of this testimony of what we're studying here? We're studying Pornhub Mind Geek. So mm -hmm. yes. they aren't one of your partners. Um, you get your information from NICMIC, is that correct? And CMEC, yes. Okay. Um, 2011, the Canadian Parliament passed a law that if an uh, internet content hosting service provider came across issues of child abuse online, that they had a legal obligation to report to the police. That was 2011. That so how many cases have been reported to you by Pornhub MindGeek since 2011? I will ask uh, Madame Arsenault to confirm that, but it's my understanding we've only just been in 2020 receiving complaints. But... From Nick Mick. And... We received uh, 120 reports through Nick Mick. Okay. So here's Since the thing. You come here and you talk about how you could get more money to do a better job. We've had a law on the books for 10 years. Um, and yet you're getting, since 2020, reports from an American agency when the law says if there's allegations, it has to go to the police. You have no record of any of that. It has to go to the Canadian Child Centre. So thank God that the Americans are sending you some information here. And I ask that because we have had multiple witnesses come forward. And we're not just talking about child pornography. We're not talking about encryption in the dark net. We're talking witnesses who say that modern sexual assault is being tied uh, to what is happening online, that it is being promoted, and it is being promoted by in a Canadian company. And so, just to clarify, you say you have absolutely no cases outstanding against Pornhub MindGeek for all the cases that have been brought forward? That is my understanding, yes. Okay. And then you said you had a problem with jurisdiction. How could you have a problem with jurisdiction when they're based in Montreal? Jurisdiction where... Part of the company may be based in Montreal, it may be incorporated elsewhere, and uh, their servers could be located elsewhere as well. Okay, I find that interesting because when I read the law, it doesn't mention their servers, it mentions their service. Pornhub MindGeek is an internet service, and as an internet service, it promotes content, adult content, it promotes sexual content. The law doesn't say if Pornhub MindGeek has their servers, servers in Cyprus, uh, you can't touch them. They are, say if you, they are providing a service, they have a legal obligation. So uh, have you had any legal opinion from um, your people about what the difference is between the service they provided and your inability to check their servers? Or have you just not tried to check their servers because you haven't followed through with any cases? No. The okay. cases we follow through are on the ones that are referred to us. So they have a presence in the United States, and they report it through that entity in the United States who passed it on to us. So okay, thank you. 120 reports that were mentioned, is those are, are and have been uh, looked at. Okay, I, again, I'm looking at Canadian law here, and it doesn't say that a Canadian uh, entity should go to the United States to refer so that they could then refer to the RCMP. They said they have an obligation to report to the police, which is in Canada. I just want to read you an email I received from one of the survivors. And again, we're not talking about one or two cases here. We've seen come across many. This survivor wrote to me on Friday afternoon. She said, I'm glad you're talking to the RCMP on Monday. I hope they can answer why they don't do anything. I emailed them and asked them to investigate Pornhub's part in my video because I think it was illegal. They didn't even answer. But here's the point, she said, I was scared to try again. I'm worried if I push the issue, they'll just get mad and stop working on these cases. 
the issue of survivors having to go and ask you to do their job, the job that you're supposed to do, and you tell us that you actually haven't initiated any cases, it sounds like you're not even going to get mad at this poor survivor. You just haven't done it. Can you explain to us, after all the testimony we've heard, why you're still talking about dealing with the dark net, needing more resources, working with the United States, and you are not addressing the issues that have been brought forward, the credible issues of sexual abuse and non-consensual acts that have happened on this service. Why have, wh what are you giving us here? I can say the reports that are referred to us, uh, regardless of which, which entity refers it, uh, they are assessed. And if it's deemed to be uh, content that needs to be investigated further, uh, packages are put together and sent out to police uh, services across okay. the but country. But the survivor the here who wrote me, she said, I asked them to investigate Pornhub's involvement in my video because I think it was illegal and the RCMP didn't even answer. And I was scared and to Mr. try Angus, again. I, I, I see that Mr. Wong has his hands up. Um, if the committee agrees, we'll just give Mr. Wong um, Certainly. 10 or 15 seconds if you have Certainly. a response. Mr. Wong. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, just quickly, because this issue has come up a number of times in relation to jurisdiction. Um, it, it is a complicating factor in all these cases, as Inspector White talked about. There's uh, the the issue of incorporation in Luxembourg, headquartered in Montreal, but its servers are located uh, around the world, but mainly in uh, the United States. Uh, the operation of the Mandatory Reporting Act, um, and Mr. Angus is correct in, in relation to the definition of internet service, Pornhub meets that definition, but the obligations under Section 3 of the Act is when they find, they have reasonable grounds to believe that they found child pornography on their servers. The operation I, of I'll the Mandatory have to stop Reporting you. Act. Yeah. I'll have to stop you.